Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, Mongo's rubber mallet, uh, it's seen better days, for sure. That all sorts of kind of messed up, and I mean, it still work. Mongo tried to make a new one, using all this junk. So we got some plastic pieces. These come out of the avalanche, right? You remember avalanche. You got a nice uh, funnel. You got this little Christmas tin thingy. We're gonna use that for the mold. We got some junk parchment paper found in a junk car. And then we'll have to make a handle, figure this little 2 by 4 make a handle out of that. Need some sort of a stand for the funnel to sit on. So we get some of this uh, rusty, thin steel. Mongo never made a hammer before, especially a plastic hammer, so this kind of big experiment, just see how it works. General idea, melt the plastic in the funnel, funnel drip the plastic liquidy into the mold, and then put the handle in the mold when it's all done. Stick it up, let her cool, and that should be a plastic hammer. So to start this whole process, I'm going to have to take the lid off this little Christmas thing. Whatever this thing is. So inside here, just a little lid clipped on of these little things. Then we'll just get those up and out of the way. And boom. Nice little rectangle square hole. And we'll take some of our parchment paper here. Yeah, that seemed pretty good. And now we'll need to make a stand for the funnel. So we're going to have to cut up some of this, uh, eh, just long steel and bend it around into shape. Yeah, bring her over to our fixed vise. She's still working good. Get an estimate going here. Yeah, we'll say 15 inches. See, we got to put some bends in her. And that's our stand. So the little funnel fits in there real nice. Well, Mongo figure, fire the oven up. Put her at eh, 400 degrees about, just a little under. And we'll just see how it goes. Well, I've been going at it two hours now, so a couple things to note. One, cranked it up to 450. She melting pretty good. Get some fumes off of it. Nothing crazy, though. Starting to come out the bottom, so we'll put a little bit more in there. Other thing to note, that parchment paper, 450 degrees was a bit much for it, so she started to burn. So, no parchment paper. Slow process, but it's coming. Well, the whole point of those notches was just to cut out a bit. Just like that. That way when you stick it inside the plastic and give her a little wiggle, the plastic will get inside there and there's no way for the hammer to actually come off. Went a little deep on that one. Whoopsies! Yeah, that way there's something for the plastic to hold on to. Well, this is taking way too long. So, Mongo figure, well, it's still pliable. Use the one end of the handle and push her down there. It's just a big, thick goo. Did not work out like Mongo thought. All right, we'll put her back in. Make sure it in all the corners. Push the handle in real good. And we get another piece of wood. Put her back in there for just a little bit. Just to make sure everything get good and liquidy. Alright, now we just gotta take her out and sit her on the bench. Yep, we'll let her cool real nice. And in the morning, we'll check what this monstrosity is. Well, we let this thing dry all night. Look like it pulling away from the metal tin a little bit. Really does look like crap, but it seems nice and solid. That 
is probably the ugliest hammer Mongo ever did see. She just is one ugly hammer. Seems solid. Yep, Mongo definitely won the contest for world's ugliest hammer. Mongo think it turned out pretty good overall. That grinder do a pretty good job at squaring up some of these. Yep, there's some inclusions, couple air pockets in there. Not ideal, but she good and hard. A little Dremel work on the handle, fit Mongo hand pretty good. And it hit pretty good. Hindsight always 2020, right? So Mongo will do a couple things different next time. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo always working on all sorts of goofy junk. Mongo, thank you.